Hey everyone, I've got an unboxing video here. Nemo's over on the bed, but the uh, the only room I've got is here on the bedroom floor, so I've got my knife. And this is a very heavy box. Um, very well taped up box, a bit beaten, but I'm pretty certain what's in here isn't going to get damaged anyway. So. that and run the knife along here, I think. Uh, just try to figure out where the join is. I'm just going to have to guess. If not, I'm going to make one. Just like that. <laughs> if I don't make one. Tough cardboard, right. Except that bit that shredded quite easily. I think we're in. We are. Good. So, a bunch of road lamp stuff. Got, uh, there should be five of these in total. Um, brackets, as you can see, they're designed for skips from the look of it. So that would go on the skip and you put your barricade light in the top there. Um, on what we call skips, I'm not sure what I would call them in America. A type of dumpster basically that you can hire and uh, when they put them on the roads they've got to put a lamp on them like this so that's what this bracket's for. And that's what that bit's for. It goes over the little lug, that the chain on the truck hooks onto to lift it up the skip up that is so I should have a bunch of those in here let's get rid of that there's one there's some more um traffic lamp e circuits here and I think these are all flashing from the look of it that's when I've got the circuit on these look like flashing no photo cell because I can't see a photo cell on here but I can see all the necessary circuitry for a flashing circuit, so... I don't know about the other ones, I haven't checked. Ew. Some mud on that one. I've been waiting in all day for this. Um, what's the time now? It's actually 10 to 4 in the afternoon. On the 2nd of October. So there's another one. Uh, there's another one. <laughs> I thought there was three loose and uh, two on lamps, but there's another one. There's four. I can see one on a lamp there. Get rid of that. So I want. I bought this lot for a couple of these brackets, and for a bunch of or a couple of these lamps. Uh, there's one. It's missing a base, so that might be a spare bit, a spare lamp. Four spares, I mean. Oh yes, this is the circuit I remember. Right, there's another one. I'll show you why, because I've already got two lamps like this, but uh, I'm pretty certain I will compare them, probably later in the video. I've got to pop out, so I'll probably have to pause this video and come back to it later. But uh, you see that's just got thin wires in that one. So that's an old, I'm sure that's older than this one. Um, I have got a fellow collector that wants a couple of these. So I will uh, be shipping them on. Here's one of the Dorman E-types. The Traffy Lamp E's. circuit in so I know where they are otherwise I can see the bulbs getting broken but I've got a funny feeling these are all flashing non photo cell let's just check that one there's no photo cell on that one so I'll do this and then what I'll do I'll pause the video 
go do some things that I've got to do, come back and we'll actually test these to see if any of them work or if any of them are broken. Uh, so there's three, that's all they are, it's the, if you're wondering what these are by the way, because I haven't told you yet, have I? These ones are um, called Permic, or the other name they're known by is Universal. Um, I think I'm going to post this one to a friend of mine because I've already got them with that type of base on. So I'm going to put that one up there. Uh, oh, I see, he's wrapped them up in um, bunches of greens. Right, I had but you see, my two that I've got up on the shelf don't have that base. That's why I bought these. Because I wanted at least a cup. These have got different catch on as well, if you look. It's got that little catch there, whereas the one I put on the bed doesn't. So, two different types there. And yes, that one's got a circuit. I know at least one of these has a battery in it. Um, and I did notice that one of these ones have got a, what appeared to be a broken lens. Which isn't a biggie. It will just get used as a spares lamp for spare parts. You see there's another one. Um, I think there's seven of these in total and five of these, which I've already got bunches of, so this one hasn't got a bolt, unless it's rolling around in the bottom, but that's not a problem, I'll just, uh... oh, I didn't check this one, did I? Well, like I said, I've got fitting all the same. Yeah, flashing no photo cell. I've actually noticed the ones with the photo cell, are you, the um, circuit is usually up in the stem here as well. In my experience, anyway, I could be wrong, they may have done one like that with um, a, um, a photo cell with a circuit outside the stem. Jeez, this is way good. Hello. That one's got a battery in it. This will be interesting to know if this one actually works. But I'm going to wait until the second part of the video. Because on top of that, I'm going to have to pause to make some room anyway. Oh, I just found another circuit. This is a spare circuit. It's got a bit of damage there and a bulb missing, but... Bulb's not a problem, I have spare. Well, that bit's all right. Yeah, when we refer to circuits in barricade lamps, that's what we refer to, these pieces. It's not really the circuit, it's just a lamp holder piece, but we just call it a circuit. Yeah, this one's actually got the uh, a circuit still in it. So, I've actually got four Dormans out here so far. Okay, it's going to be easier to keep that stored out of it. There's another Permic. I do like these Permics. I did see them used at least once at Roadworks in this area many moons ago. The seller said some had batteries. I've only found one with a battery so far, but again, I'm not bothered about batteries. I've got batteries and they're cheap enough to get. A couple of these Dormans with the um, bolts missing. Oh. oh no, no, these ones might have batteries. These are heavy. Ow, this one is. Oh, there's six brackets. <laughs> uh, that one's been in the wars a bit. Can you see that? It's um a bit dented, but nothing that can't be fixed. It's only had something dropped on it there. There we go, I fixed it. Ish. <laughs> there we go. A bit of brute force and it's vaguely back in shape. 
I think these have been stored somewhere dirty because a lot of these have got mud and whatnot on them. So perhaps in the bottom of a shed somewhere. Right. So that's all of my dormants. I've got two permits left. Holy crap, there's some weight in this one. What have I got a feeling this one's got batteries in it? Stuff me, they didn't want anyone nicking that, did they? Ha! <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yes, I've still got coal. <coughs> I've got one more here with a bracket on. Do you know, I'm, I'm going to check the photo because I'm sure I only counted five brackets. I wonder that's a problem. That might have been one I missed. Here's the other one. Ah! I thought that was one which was a bit bent and twisted. I think that one's, um... Why do I get the feeling someone may have tried stealing this at some point and failed? I mean, I could stick it in a vise and try and straighten it out, but... I think... Yeah, this one's got two batteries in it. See that? Look that one. Oh yeah, that one's got two batteries in it as well. So, in total, what did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these Permex. And, uh... Five Dormans. And it seems like I've got three spare Dorman circuits as well. I'm just going to double check that. Actually, no, I think I've got two, because that one goes for that one, so that's now got one. My bent one's got one. That's got one. That's got one, because it's got a battery in it. And that's got one, so I've got two spare doorman circuits as well. So... If my collector friends need to spare one, I've got a few of these as spare now. <clears throat> Get in there. Right, so. I guess I'm going to pause here and get ready for part two. I've got to clear this crap, clear the crap off that table. I'm going to do a few chores, so I will see you in a little while.